But Johnny, let's end the podcast, and I am going to. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the wool over the over the curtain or behind the curtain, whatever it's like. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, feeling under the weather a little bit today. I uh, took some, took some meds, and I was like, you know what, I should be good to go. But as we're recording two podcasts, uh, I'm noticing a little bit of fatigue on my part, a little bit of <laughs> sluggishness. But I am a team player. I know what I need to do for you guys, so I'm pushing through it. For you guys, I just wanted to pull that wool or pull that curtain up to let you guys see behind it. But Johnny, you did point to your shirt because we're talking about Marvel. And the big thing we are talking about here (laughs) is we know that Avengers 4 has begun shooting, I believe. Yeah. And the big question around that movie is basically what's going to be the title of it? Because right now it doesn't have a first year title. It is just an Avengers 4 We know Infinity Wars will be coming out next May, and in an interview, the actress that plays Gamora mentioned where she said, we just finished, the Guardians just finished shooting for um, Infinity War, now we have to go and film Gauntlet. Yes. And that is what she said. However, James Gunn came out after that and said, no, 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 that's not what it's called, it's not called Gauntlet, don't react to anything. Let's just plain and simple. Uh, just like I do all the time, I'm just going to ask you, what do you what do you think Avengers Four will be called? Avengers, what, and what would you like it to be called? Um, well, I'm not going to say like, oh, I'm not going to like jump in and say, oh, this is what it's going to be called. Oh, this you is what's wanna, going you to be called? A bold prediction, at Johnny? I'm not, no, I'm not going to bold prediction because prediction? Marvel can, Marvel likes to pull the carpet out from under our feet. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Especially when you make a bold prediction. Exactly. So Johnny doesn't make bold predictions in Marvel anymore. Um, but I, I actually would lean towards it's the possibility it is still called Gauntlet. Just because she said it and then James Gunn maybe comes out and says, oh, no, 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 no that's not what it's called. Mm-hmm. Shut the hell up. You guys keep <laughs> ruining shit. This is why we took Especially stuff. Especially Spider-Man. This is why we took stuff away from Tom. <laughs> he doesn't get to tweet anymore. Yeah, he doesn't get to tweet. He doesn't. Even, the funny thing about that is he doesn't even get scripts. No, until the day they shoot things down. Like no, you don't. Get, no, we cannot trust you with the script. You because loud mouth. He, because he kept spoiling stuff. It's like but nope. That that's, now you don't get the cover page. Thanks. That's really the big question because it kind of seems like the two movies originally it was Infinity War Part One and Infinity War Part Infinity Two. Infinity War Part Two that is now changed and like in the comic book. Mm-hmm. sense of things it really seems like they're going towards the infinity war is going to be more towards thanos's quest which is the prequel yeah to infinity gauntlet however the big question is with that and i'll ask you because you're the marvel guy would you be fine with them calling one infinity war and the other one infinity gauntlet or would that be too confusing for a casual moviegoer for a casual moviegoer maybe um, I mean, if you wanted to simplify it down to a casual movie goer, mm-hmm. call it part one, part two. But we're not doing that. No. So, yeah, no, go Infinity Wars and then, yeah, call it Infinity Gauntlet. Because, I mean, you can just play it off the fact that maybe he has a maybe he has a complete Infinity Gauntlet mm-hmm. now. And now it's officially the well, Infinity Gauntlet. And that's the thing. If you look at it, the the big thing that people are looking at is... Paul Bettany. Yeah, Vision. Vision, who is Vision. filming Vision, <laughs> who is filming for Avengers 4, still has the Infinity Stone yeah, the mind in stone. his head. So it's you look at that and you go, well, Thanos doesn't have all of them. No. I know we he still has one right as of uh as of what we see now. Yeah, he well, has one. He has Loki the, gives him the Tesseract. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we already see the what looks like he just reaches back and he pulls the from what I've heard, it's like the moon and he's yeah. pulling part of the moon, some, which basically making some giant rocks fly right at them, which plays into the Galactus thing because they can't use Galactus exactly because Galactus is an X Men property. But I mean, I look at that and I go, maybe the first movie is more towards he meets the Avengers, the Avengers meet. His Avengers, his kind of, his Dark Order, where in the comics, they're basically 
His, the, his, his generals. Yeah, the lieutenants, the generals. It looks like in the movie, though, they're making it more towards the children of Thanos. Yeah, which I, I guess it plays along the storyline because you had um, Gamora, Gamora and, and Nebula. Nebula. And why not have a, like, just kind of say, well, these are all my children, mm -hmm. and the rest of them are still loyal. The Thanos uh, soap opera. Father all of my the year. No, I was going to say the... Thanos soap opera, All My Children. Oh, God. But, I mean... Still, Father of the Year. Yeah, Father of the Year. And the one thing I'm going to wonder with that little sidetrack on mm -hmm. the child is, from what Nebula said in Guardians 2, where he would have me and Gamora, Gamora fight each other. Yeah. And every time I lost, he would replace a part of me with a machine. The thing I'm going to wonder is if the rest of these children all have some sort of machine part in it. And I wonder if it's going to play into the fact of like Gamora was so talented and Gamora was so good. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have any machine parts. Um, She may actually have some biomedical. You think so? Bio enhanced. Yeah, I thought so. In the first Guardians, they kind of hinted on that or said something okay. on that. I didn't know if they officially but... said, but if like it was one of those where it was like, man, Gamora was so good. She just beat everyone. And did not need any enhancements. But the, I mean, he may have just automatically put some enhancements mm -hmm. in here in the first place. They're like, no, I want you to be better, mm -hmm. in the, like right off the bat. Because we do know that he tortured her. Yeah, That's exactly. That's from the first one. I mean, the other thing is, I mean, we never know how he split them up or how he had them train. Maybe mm -hmm. it was always a two on two. Like, you only train with this one other one. Yeah, where she's constantly training with Nebula. Yeah, it's always Gamora versus Nebula, and you never fight any of the other ones. It's always whatever one Maybe. is versus the other one. So, you know, I don't know. We do, uh, we'll have to wait and see when we get a little more footage on them, because we just got, right now, the little standees of what mm -hmm. they look like. Yeah, and I mean, you get to see some of them, and really the big one is which ones are going to go get the Infinity Stone from Vision. And yeah. the way I'm looking at it is... Part one, the Infinity War that we're going to get, is him meeting the Avengers, the Avengers meeting his Dark Avengers, and basically setting up that storyline to where Infinity Gauntlet is going to be him gathering all of the Infinity Stones to destroy the world. Yeah. Is what it's going to be, and the Avengers will have to stop him because we already see parts of in that footage that was leaked from I think it was D23 where they did the trailer you see Captain America with the spear of, uh, of Proxima Midnight Proxima Midnight which is one of the children of Thanos yeah. and we also get to see a little bit of little things with Thanos and the Avengers but I personally think like the big thing with the title that people were talking about was is it too confusing like I mentioned to have one be Infinity War and the other one be Infinity Gauntlet. For um, I'd say a little bit for non fandom moviegoers because we're gonna go no matter. They could just call it Avengers Four. Give us your money and me and you would go. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't care what they call it because uh, <laughs> uh, I mean we're gonna go see it. Works. It looks good. Like, what the first they, one looks what good. What if they called it Avengers Four, Iron Fist Part Two? It'd be confusing. And I'd go, why the fuck did you call it that? I only say Think that because you were surprised today before we recorded yeah. that Iron Fist got some bad reviews. reviews. Yeah. Yeah. No, I would be surprised with that. The other, like, I mean, hell, they could call it um, Avengers 4, go fuck yourself. And I would go see it still. Johnny would still be like, yes, yes, I will. Uh, sure. Why not? Um, just let me see the movie first. Yeah. And I mean, whatever you say, Marvel. With me, I feel like I'm on the side of. If you want to call it Infinity Gauntlet, call, call it Infinity, Infinity Gauntlet. Gauntlet. I mean, no, you even as a non movie goer, you can make some sense mm -hmm. of it because, like, right now, and this is I'm just as me just hypo be, like making a hypothesis. Right now, we have Avengers Infinity Wars where he has an incomplete gauntlet. Mm -hmm. As of now, he has an incomplete gauntlet. Yeah. Even with the scene, like the one pic or two pictures we've seen with hit with a uh, Vision. He mm -hmm. still has that, which yeah. in some sense, it's kind of like... Which is the Mind Stone. The Mind Stone. So he still has an incomplete gauntlet. Mm -hmm. Maybe number four is him complete, completing the gauntlet. That's what I think it will be. That's what I think it will be, too. Him so, which is why it makes sense to call it gauntlet. Yeah, him completing the gauntlet, him trying to get the rest of them. Because we don't even know in Thor 
what's going to happen with the Soul Stone. Exactly. Because we're still under the impersonation that Heimdall I'm, might have it. That's where I'm going with I still say Heimdall has it. Heimdall may have it. Hela, Hela wants may, it. Hela may get her hands on it Maybe. at some point in the movie. We don't even know if in the movie Hela will find out being if she's working for Thanos in some way to try to get the Soul Stone from Heimdall where Thanos is just like, Technically, she's a daughter of Loki. Basically, what you could do is Thanos could say, get me the Soul Stone and I'll let you have Asgard. I'll let you just have Asgard. I don't give a shit about it. Yeah. You destroy it. Loki failed me, so it, you can have it. Do whatever you want with it. But Loki gives him the Tesseract in the Infinity War footage Yeah, that we saw from D23. So I think that is interesting, too, because you know that in Thor... Loki's going to backstab them at one point. Oh, of course he he's is. He's got to because he's the trickster. But I Loki's just, out for Loki. Yeah, I would just call it Infinity War. I would just call it Infinity Gauntlet and go from there because I just I feel like if you try to play to the casual fan, then you're overthinking it. Exactly. You're really overthinking it. But I do think that this movie is going to be set everything up in part one. And then part two is all the action of getting, assembling the gauntlet and the Avengers. Having a f- Avenger, to everyone, not just Avengers, yeah. everyone. Everyone in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Having to Trying fight back. to stop the biggest villain that they have ever had to go up against in Thanos. Yep. And like one of the lines I like from the footage we got is where he goes, Brolin actually goes, Fun isn't something you think about when destroying a world, but this definitely puts a smile on my face. And he just, the punch of just bringing all that kind of debris with him, just thrown right at whoever he's punching at. And I was like, oh, and I mean, the thing that's also funny is today, well, this week I noticed it, is we also got to see Thanos or um, Josh Brolin in his first footage or his first image as Hellboy. Yeah. And that looked pretty good as well. I had to throw that out there that it he's we got that as well. So this is an actor that I cannot wait to see what he can do because we've only seen snippets of Brolin so far. Yeah, we don't know. Thanos. A lot of them. We've never seen an actual film, but before we wrap everything up, anything that you think we need to mention about Avengers, about Avengers Infinity War, about Thor Anything that has to not do with just what they're calling it. Make sure you go watch the trailers. I know somewhere online you can find oh, what we got so far. That's of, it. That's uh-oh. what I was going to ask you. When are they going to drop the Infinity War trailer officially? Oh, the trailer? Officially? What's your, what's your prediction for that? Because um, there's some people that said it's going to be before Thor. There's some people that they're saying they're going to drop it the Tuesday before Thor. Others are saying post credit scene. Um, I, I think the... I mean, part of it is that they do drop it for, um, tend to drop those for, like, on Tuesdays, right before, or at certain points, most of them. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's what I've heard m- multiple times. But I do think a good way to do it is to drop it as the one of the previews for Thor, the dark, uh, Thor Ragnarok. Thank you. No, don't, you don't think don't so? Don't do that. Don't do it before. No, I, well. Do it why, after. Why after? Do it after. Because think about this. I mean, yes, in the Marvel timeline, we basically have Thor November. Yeah. We have Black Panther in February. And then in May, we have Infinity War. Let's be honest. Black Panther is probably not... Like, Black Panther is not going to be a direct tie into Infinity War. No, it's more of an offshoot movie. It's more of an offshoot so we can learn about the kind of... A, Black Panther, but B, the kind of what's going on in Wakanda and how Wakanda is as a nation, and we get Killmonger in that one. Yeah, exactly. We learn about that kind of mini society, so it's kind of going to be an off shot. If anything, it's going to be at the end, what is Bucky still there? What's going to be done with Bucky is what we get coming into Infinity Cap, War. maybe a little bit here and what there. What I would do if I was Marvel. Mm-hmm. Don't release it on Tuesday. Do not release it before Thor. I would release it after the credits. Credits roll. Boom. Infinity War. Kind of like, remember how 
Um, I think it was at the end of the Avengers movie where they said the Avengers will be back. Mm-hmm. The, the Avengers will return. Yeah. That is what they should do here, but with the trailer. Just boom. Just credits roll. That last credit rolls up. Hit us right in the face with Infinity War. Make us leave the theater like, holy shit, it's coming. Holy shit, it is coming. Thor led into this. We just watched everything with the Soul Stone and just everything with Thor. Thor pounds down and we get to see him with the lightning where he doesn't need his hammer now yeah. for the power. The kind of lightning now flows through him. We got to see that. He might be off in space because of where. And that's the tie in. Oh my God. Just. Poof. And then just smack into the windshield. Think of that first scene. He hits the windshield. Yeah. That's how you tie it in. It's just after after the credits roll up, boom, he hits the windshield. It's just the Guardians where it's like, oh, wow. It looks Gross! Like, it looks like it's all destroyed, and bam, he just hits the front, and you just get that trailer right away in the post credit scene for Thor. That would work, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying... I'm not saying I would like that. This is what I'm saying. I would, I would love, love that. that. I would love that. But I feel like if they're just going to follow s- suit of normal things, which is what happens with trailers and stuff like that, it's probably going to come right before the Thor movie if Mar- they're going to drop it. Marvel has also shown us that they're not afraid to go against the norm. That's true. That's very true. They're not afraid to go against the norm when it comes to things. And Kevin Feige, if you're... Uh, if you're listening, I'll let you take the idea for free. You can have it, but it's free. do it. Do that. Do That's it. That's the best thing. Also, I looked it up just so you know. Huh. Um, do you know what Iron Fist got on Rotten Tomatoes? No. 18%. Wow. It got a 4.2 out of 10 from the critics. An audience score of a 77%, though. Got a 3.9, 3.9 out of 5 from the audience, a 4.3 out of 10 from the critics. It's only an 18% on Rotten Tomatoes, which I believe is for a rotten rating on Rotten Tomatoes. It definitely is not fresh (laughs) if you're asking the critics. But I want to thank you guys for watching or listening to the Rick and Johnny podcast this week. Make sure to check out patreon.com backslash most valuable podcast to help support the channel and get some extra rewards for supporting the channel, one of which could be being a guest once a month here on the Rick and Johnny podcast. I want to thank you guys for either watching and or listening. And as always, have a good day, everybody.